Welcome to Joe's Math Tools, where math is made easy. In today's session, we will be calculating angles at a point with involving expressions. And this video is also the second part in my videos on calculating angles at a point with expressions. Okay, so we're going to begin solving our equation the way we did in our first example. Remembering that all of the components in our diagram all sum to 360 degrees. So we're going to begin by writing out our equation first and then we'll move on to our next step where we're going to begin simplifying our equation. So remember that you need to make sure that everything that is given to you in the diagram is also included here in your expression, in your equation. So now that I've written out everything from my diagram and included it in my equation, we're now going to simplify our expression by collecting our like terms. And I'm going to begin by adding my R's first. So all of my terms that has R involved, we will be adding them or subtracting them together. Just remember that you always calculate your terms with whatever sign is in front of that term. So we have 8 plus 4 will give us 12, 12 plus 5 will give us 17, 17 plus 5 will give us 22, and 22 plus 7 will give us 29R. And now we're going to calculate our constant. So we have a negative 7, an 8, and 11. So 8 minus 7 will leave us with 1, and 1 plus 11 will give us 12. So we now have 29R plus 12, which equals to 360 degrees. And just like we would when we're solving two-step equations, we're going to again collect our like terms. And since 12 and 360 degrees are both constants, I'm going to collect them by subtracting 12 from both sides of my equation. On my left hand side, my 12s would cancel, leaving us with 29R. And on the right hand side, when 360 degrees subtracts 12, we're left with 348 degrees. And now we're going to perform our one step multiplication rules where we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 29. And this is to get our variable R by itself on one side of the equation. So 29 to 29 will leave us with just R. And when 29 divides into 348 degrees, we're left with 12 degrees. So our R for our equation is equal to 12 degrees. And after we've found the measure of our R, this doesn't mean that we've completed solving our equation. You have to remember that with all of the parts in our diagram, we're all, they all have an R term attached to them. So we have to go back and work out each of these expressions to find out what is the actual degree or the actual measurement for each of these different parts. I'm going to begin with my 8R. So 8R uh, means that 8 is being multiplied to R and we know that R is equal to 12 degrees so I'll just put that up here as a reminder that our R is 12 degrees. So 8 times 12 degrees will equal to 96 degrees. So my 8R is 96 degrees. Next, we're going to calculate our 4R. And 4R also means that 4 is being multiplied to 12 degrees. And 4 times 12 will give us 48 degrees. So my 4R is 48 degrees. And we're now going to calculate our 5R plus 8. And this means that 5 will be multiplied to 12 degrees. And then its product will be added to 8. So 12 times 5 will give us 60 degrees. And 60 degrees plus 8 will equal to 68 degrees. So our 5R plus 8 will equal to 68 degrees. We're now going to calculate our 5R minus 7. 5 times 12 degrees. And then its product will subtract 7. 
So 5 times 12 is 60 degrees. 60 degrees minus 7 will equal to 53 degrees. And our last part is 7R plus 11. 7 times 12 degrees. And its product added to 11. So 7 times 12 is 84 degrees. 84 degrees plus 11 is equal to 95 degrees. So now that we've calculated the different parts of our diagram and found their actual measure, we're now going to perform our last step. And this is a very important step. This is the final step that you can use to check your answer as well to make sure that everything in your diagram does indeed add up to 360 degrees and that is by adding all of your angles together. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 8 is 24 and 24 plus 6 will equal to 30 so we're going to write our 0, carry our 3. 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 6 is 20, 20 plus 4 will give us 24, 24 plus 9 will give us 23, 33, and 33 plus 3 will give us 36. So we see that when we sum all of these angles up together, they do indeed add up to 360 degrees. So this tells us that the measure that we found for R is correct and that we also calculated each of our different parts of our diagram correctly. So guys, it's just that easy to calculate these uh, diagrams when we're given them with terms and expressions involved. Remember that you always find the measure of your variable first. After calculating your variable, remember to go back and substitute that angle degrees for each of the different parts of your expressions and your terms involved in your diagram to calculate for their actual measurement. And once you've done that, remember to always check your answer by summing all of these angles up together to make sure that they do add up to the actual sum of the angles for that diagram, which is 360 degrees for this particular angle we're working with, just angles at a point. Remember, we do provide you with links to a worksheet that is provided in the description box below. So make sure you click that link, practice, and you will get better. So until next time, this is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.